GameGameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, this is off the playbook, breaking down the Broncos versus the Vikings. Now let's look at Denver in this game. Another outstanding team victory for the Broncos on offense. What I want to see them do against the Vikings is open up the playbook. Do not wait until the last five minutes of the fourth quarter to allow Tim Tebow to throw the football. If you incorporate passing throughout the ball game, Therefore, it makes it easier to run later on when you're controlling the clock because you will have a lead. Allow Tim Tebow to throw the football throughout the ball game, and that way you can keep that offense on pace. Now, you look at the defensive side of the football. Let's talk defense. We don't know if Adrian Peterson is going to be back there, but we do know Toby Gerhardt is going to be back there. He's a one-cut runner, gets downhill fast. So I look for guys like Bunkley and those guys on the interior to make sure they control the line of scrimmage. You have to keep that Vikings offensive line at bay. You have to re-establish the offensive line. You have to make sure these guys do not get to the second level because there's some big mammoth linemen that can pound on these guys. So look for these guys. So you you have to hold your own at the point of attack against the Vikings defense. Now you're playing a rookie quarterback in Christian Ponder who loves to chase the edge. If I'm Von Miller, I'll line up on his right side and force him to go left. Force him to go left into road coverage and that way you can stop where he wants to go with the football because he does have a live arm uh, and he is fairly accurate when he throws on a run. But if you force the issue when he's chasing and when he's chased, being chased, they can have some success and Von Miller can't provide that because he has a lot of speed. Now you look at the Vikings on offense. Attacking Denver's defense is simple. You want to attack these guys vertically. So I would look for Ponder in that offense to stay in spread formations. When I say spread formations, I'm talking two wide receivers to one side, tight end and receiver to the other side, one back in the backfield. What that does is widen out that pressure and it allows a young quarterback to see where the blitz is coming from and effectively call those hot routes and check off to those dump passes and get the football out of his hands quickly. And we talked about last week of getting Ponder on the perimeter. You have to utilize this young man's legs while he's still young. So if the Broncos get into a situation where they're just flying upfield, call some design quarterback draws to get him out there on the perimeter and get him to the second level where he can make one miss. Now defensively, it's about securing your gap responsibilities and stopping the run. The Broncos will run the football 70% of the time in this game. How well can Kevin Williams and company hold their own against their running attack and play with gap responsibility? Remember, if it's option, read option type football, there's two guys with the ball, tackle both guys. Do not try to guess, do your assignment, do your job, and you can have some success against a read option team. And the backside defensive end can't fly up the field. He has to make sure he holds that offensive tackle, but stays at the line of scrimmage. If you allow yourself to fly up the field, they're gonna run that boot, they're gonna, the running back is gonna see that cutback and take it to the house. Now let's look at some X factors in this ball game. X factor for the Denver Broncos has to be Mike McCoy again, opening a little bit more of that playbook and allowing Tim Tebow to throw the football in the first two, three quarters. Now you look at X factors for the Vikings, it has to be their defensive line. Can they hold their own with their gap responsibilities against this read option attack? And that's gonna be the biggest key. I look at these two teams, man, and these are two teams that are playing exciting football right now. The Vikings still are playing very exciting football with, their, with Christian Ponder QB. Tim Tebow and company are winning with the running game and solid defense. I have to go with the Broncos again. Anytime you have a quarterback that has outstanding clutch awareness and has outstanding ball skills, not turn the ball over, you have to side with him and that defense, Von Miller, defensive player of the year and should make first team all pro. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.